everyone. Welcome to Janak and Kulraj show. Today's chit chat. This is me, Lena Joshi. Uh, as many of you know, if you don't know, let me myself. I'm a, a pharma professional and an image consultant, uh, which means I guide and help pageant contestants, students, corporate, other people, personal style, and inner strength. I also um, I participated in uh, Mrs. Bharat New Jersey pageant and I won the title of Mrs. Congeniality New Jersey last year. So excited to be here. So let's have our Mrs. Bharat winner, New England, Ashita. Hey, Ashita. So good to see you, Lena. And so good to see all my fellow participants. <laughs> well, uh, yes, as you said, I'm the winner of Mrs. Bharat New England in uh, 2019 and uh, well I'm um, actually um, a customer relationship executive by profession but uh, I am a dancer I'm a writer I'm a blogger I'm also an energy healer at the same time so uh, yeah so I have my feet in 10 different things and I love doing that what I do what I'm doing and I'm kind of really looking forward to be meeting all my fellow participants in New Jersey. And I'm so excited. I can still kind of feel the chill that's running through my spine because I've had such an enlightening experience the last time that I've had in the state, um, you know, level pageant because uh, it was it's a totally transformational, a transformational journey for me. I got transformed physically, spiritually, socially from all different levels. And I'm so very thankful to both Rashmi ji and Janak ji for providing us such great platform, you know, where we kind of, you know, shedding all the inhibitions and coming out of our comfort zones and so catching a talent. So that's definitely, and they kind of, you know, the passion that they have, they put their heart, their mind, the soul into what they're doing. So that, that passion kind of, you know, you, you, it's so contagious that you kind of feel like giving out your best. So, and we want to nurture their baby. This is their baby, right? So we kind of, yes. <laughs> You are not, yeah, so we kind of definitely fulfilling our dreams, but at the same time, we like love to be a part of their dream as well, you know, contribute in every small or major way, whatever way we can. So I'm yes. kind of looking forward to that and meeting all my fellow participants and sharing the same platform and sense of camaraderie and, you know, that sense of oneness. So I'm and so, so good to hear from you about your experience and everything. You're so right. It's their dream. Uh, this is the pageant, I think. Right. It. It's not only about beauty or anything, it actually you know, builds your self-esteem, the way you are, the way you look at yourself is different when you are out of the passion. I have exactly. experienced it, you have experienced it, right? Exactly, definitely. So let's bring one more uh, participant, Anamika Patel. Hey, Anamika. Hey, Hi. how are you? Thank like you. Like to introduce yourself? Uh, I've been uh, working in my business. I've been here long enough, 23 years. It's but nice. always, I was always passionate about uh, so many things in life. I have uh, different hobbies. I love to sing, I love to dance, love to paint, love to sketch, and believe uh, in yeah. myself. Very confident. And I always like to uh, donate a lot of things. I look after poor kids. And, uh, of course, women empowered. I'm a woman. <laughs> so always support the woman. And uh, with a little bit of help, I think uh, we can pass the sky. That That so is very true. important. So true, so true. And another contestant, we have Madhvi. Hello? Anybody can hear Madhvi? No, I can't. Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, no, can you hear me? Hi. Yes, yes, we can hear you now. Okay, sorry for that disturbance. <laughs> okay, okay so my name is Madhvi Rakholia. I'm participating in Miss Bharat US Library. And uh, I'm going to And uh, if I talk about myself, then I did master in business in India. After that, I worked uh, seven years in corporate. Uh, with that experience, I used to work for Wildlife Sanctuary to save birds. I used to work for uh, children. I used to work for women who are pregnant and who can't afford the primary needs. And maybe that was another organization. I, I was not able to be part of that because of this many work. So I used to donate sometimes. Sometimes I'd be part of that organization. 
uh along with that i used to work in movies but in crowd because my father was not allowing at that time <laughs> i used to do paint uh wooden art i love to do wooden art too and uh, after that i came to united states it's been 3 years i and i finished my master degree in so right now i'm i'm looking forward another opportunity but i would love to work in hollywood if i get chance Yeah, so much talent and so much dream, right? Way to go, girl. Mm-hmm. So now we have next contestant is um Zubeda. Hi everyone. Nice hey, to Zubeda. meet you all. Nice to meet you. Zubeda, say something about yourself. What brought you here? What what are you doing? What are your plans, dreams, anything you want to share? Sure. So my name is Zubeda. I'm from New York. I'm participating for Miss Bharat USA International and I'm so happy to be here. This is actually my first time being in this kind of arena, which is kind of, you know, make me a little nervous, but I'm so excited because I've I've been hearing such great things about change and growth and it's not just about beauty, which I'm starting to understand that already and I'm really excited about that. Um and by profession I'm a mental health counselor. So mm-hmm. I really love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, I I know how it feels to be a stranger in this world or or you know, misguided or needing some help. And sometimes people need that extra love and care. So yes. that's what I love to give and um I love to dance, I love to sing, I love to cook and eat. <laughs> um and I love to feed my friends and family because the happiness in their face makes me very happy so those are just some of the things that keep me going and uh i hope to get some inspiration for myself to grow and then give it to other women like you said you know we are women so we understand women and i just want i know we have some struggles as women and i think right. it's important to be somebody yeah. using a platform like this to help people and and to grow everyone including ourselves and i'm really excited to be here That's really great. So before we start what uh for the pageant, I would like to uh say a few things elaborating what I will be doing. As I said, I'm an image consultant, but this one is for basically for the pageant. So we will be concentrating on that. I'm also an author of um uh, the best seller book uh just going to introduce for one second, find the best in you, which is available on Amazon worldwide. uh mm-hmm. recently became number 1 in amazon australia and uk awesome so nice. so hey, my nice. goal for tonight mm-hmm. for you ladies is to have a clear idea about what you guys will be doing what you're looking for what you, what are your dreams are and how you're going to be doing in each round so before i start i just want to ask one by one that how you have prepared for the this pageant I'm going to start with Ashita. Um you mean you mean in terms of okay Any, that, like uh, let's say let's start with the costume round how mm-hmm. how are you doing is everything finalized are they are still going on what you're looking in terms of when you have traditional round and evening gown round what are your thoughts about question and answer round how you're going to prepare what you have in mind and then I can put on light what we are supposed to do good question well in terms of costumes i'm kind of pretty much in shape but it's not that it's 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 like 100% and you're never 100% yes, yeah you're never that that never something uh, last time. minute there's something going exactly. on exactly and that the other thing is that you, if you're seeking other people's opinion then they have varied opinions you know and then you kind of try to align everything together to make sure that it just not works best for you because at times you may have a you know preconceived notion that this is going to work but some other person may have altogether different opinion so i'm kind yes. of trying to you know um, make note of that as well so that's what, how i'm kind of not 100% done but you know aligning myself with uh, with what the comments and feedback that i had been yes. receiving from my friends and family mm-hmm. so yeah so that's where i am in terms of costumes <laughs> and then um other preparation is more it's it's always i always like to go inwards than go outwards i mean i was like to align my heart mind body and soul because i feel like if i'm on the stage i should Then be completely there perform exactly well. i shouldn't be focusing on my clothes i shouldn't be of course i had to have that make sure that i'm kind of you know, having a perfect walk and stuff but at the same time i don't want to make sure that 
but I'm there. I'm totally there. I'm living the moment. So I'm trying to go away. Good that, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Good that you brought that up because I yeah. just want to make one point to all of you before I ask everyone where they are. Yeah. When you are thinking about your costume and all, don't think about just costume. I know this is the pageant, okay? Right. You, um, how many of you have done modeling before or never? I have done. You have done. So you guys know the difference between the pageant and the modeling. Where you are wearing your outfit and you are on the stage, yeah. you are wearing the outfit. It's you. You are not presenting outfit. You are not presenting anything. You are presenting yourself. Right. And when you are there in the room practicing with others, it, it kind of tempting to feel like, oh, this person is having nice outfit. I don't know if mine is good yeah. or no. But That's just remember one thing. Find that style that is unique to you, in which you are comfortable. Doesn't matter if the outfit is so beautiful, but if you are not comfortable, it will show on your face. And judges will notice that too. So you want to have something that if you so work on, for, for example, for uh, the Indian outfit, I, I always say that if your outfit is too loud, keep your jewelries minimum. Don't make everything too loud and you are like lost in some ways. So, you know, right. work on the looks, what you're working on. If the outfit is not that good, then you might want to have a heavy jewelry. So, okay, so I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to have Anamika. Okay, Anamika, what are the preparation for you? Yes, that, that, that was the concern I was thinking to ask her. And uh, I think you have answered all the questions. <laughs> Pretty much that yeah. was it. Yeah. And uh, something about confidence, I think, if I can have some tips. And, uh, you know. For, the, with confidence, the only thing I always tell all the contestants that, let me start with you. Have you ever, I mean, everybody has seen the fashion shows. You yes. see this model, like crazy outfit. Like it was like, who, who wears this kind of outfit, you know? But the way they walk on the stage yes. with that confidence. If you are confident, doesn't matter what you're wearing. If you feel confident, everybody around you will feel the same. So it starts with you. Don't think, oh, I'm to this. I don't think I have that much of height or this, that skin color. I, she is so good. Everybody is beautiful. You have to feel that you're beautiful. That's the first thing. Feel you are beautiful and you're there. Thank you. Yes. Don't don't compare yourself ever with anyone. And see, okay. this is the pageant. And yeah. crown is going to go to one person. Don't think that, oh, what if I don't? Everybody's going to compete for the crown, for yeah. sure. You're going to give your 100%. But enjoy the journey. You know, yes. enjoy that friendship. I yeah. still have, I mean, now we are like besties. You know, I have still have many friends from the pageant. We go out, we hang out. It's a beautiful journey. Yeah. Thing. Yes. The moment you walk out, you will be a better person for sure. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Madhuri. Yeah. <laughs> Any question for me or should I start with my costume? What are your preparations? Not only costume, like in general, what are you preparing oh, for? In general, I haven't prepared myself. I don't want to lie, but about uh, like dance i have decided two minute dance for that i'm gonna go nice. for the traditional costume yes. uh, for the introduction round i want to go with a western outfit because i'm skinny so i would love to go with a skin tight costume to present myself and i don't don't want to go in traditional costume at that time and uh, for final round i'm gonna wear a really heavy gown and uh, i'm gonna prepare myself for the speech if they're gonna ask me any question uh and uh, I, I don't have stage fear so i don't think so i don't need to like to do too much preparation but uh, yeah about dance i have to prepare myself that's great there's only one thing i want to mention here that uh since it's it's the one day event everything's going to be one day right mm -hmm. so make sure your hair and makeup everything your transition from one look to another is mm -hmm. smooth and easy so that you don't stress out like hey this is traditional round i have like two crazy hair and in that round i need open and then when your turn is there you don't want to rush you know when your turn is there to walk you want to have that one or two minute behind that uh 
backstage. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know how they're going to have it there. But have that self pep talk before you go. You know, be there, relax. You don't want to rush. Oh, my makeup. Oh, my this, my lipstick. When you got, when they call you, you have to be there. You know when is your turn to walk. Don't rush for anything. Don't worry about little lipstick. Or nobody's going to notice that. You know, sometimes you just have to go. So don't rush yourself for this thing. Give yourself, uh, give yourself some uh, one or two minutes for pep talk. You are absolutely okay. right. Because, you know, last uh, show I did, fashion show, I was not having practice or we were in rush. So it was a little messed up. Like, I felt like that. But this time I want to do practice more before I go on ramp walk and before I prepare myself because all three looks going to be different. So I'm going to prepare myself. I'm going to do three days practice. Practice, so I'll be there uh, before Saturday. Practice is the key. Practice, practice, yeah. practice, practice, practice on everything. Practice on your um, introduction. How you're gonna introduce yourself? Be honest. Think of something that you know that would catch judges' attention. That this contestant is unique. They would remember when. How many seconds you have to prepare for introduction? Thirty second, minute, or what? Do you have any idea? I think 30 seconds to a minute. 30, uh, 30 uh, seconds to uh, a minute. Uh, uh, yeah. No, I. Let's say for now, uh, 30 seconds. So that 30 seconds, you want to stand out from all the contestants, right? So make sure how you can bring it up, like make any statements, any, how would I say it? Something unique about you. It should, it should be like you are speaking to them about you not any general thing i'm doing this of course you're going to mention what you guys doing but stand out you know find those lines how you can make it more better and effective when you walk out from the stage they will remember you so work on that part of introduction okay now i'm gonna go to zubeda let's hear from her this conversation is so helpful. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Already, you. I'm just thinking about things. Mm -hmm. It's so great. Um, Thank so you. Physical preparation, meaning in terms of costume, I'm so excited to wear the traditional outfit because it's my favorite color. <laughs> so th this is the kind of thing, like you were saying, confidence, something that makes you yes. feel good. It's my favorite color. I love this dress and I feel good See, at it. Yes. It so will come important. out. Right. Yeah, and it makes me instantly smile, and I think a smile is the best makeup you can wear, so I, I love that. And um, for the talent, I'm going to wear a little bit something American, because though I'm from Bangladesh, I'm also American. I would like to show both parts of my identity. And then the other type of preparation I'm doing is mentality-wise. I know there's a lot of, like, like you said, inwards, you know, looking inwards and being yourself, so... I guess I've just been over the last couple of days, I've been thinking, who am I? What do I want in my life? What do I want to create? What kind of influence do I want to be for other people? I've just been thinking about these kinds of things. And I always do. This is like, that's what that's I do. That's really day. great. That's so really so great. I'm, I'm thankful that this is just another place where I can do it even more and in a different way. So, yeah, that's my yeah. preparation. That's really nice. So, for I know you're going to you guys gonna have a practice for the walk and all but learn to practice in heels that's one of them and for the indian outfit we all have these long langas and all make sure with your heel you try it because you don't want to trip down on the stage you don't want to feel uncomfortable and thinking in your head while you're walking oh my langa is too long oh i oh so you you don't want to do that Make sure everything is right, correct, jewelries, everything, and you are feeling confident. Try it out. Don't wait it till last minute. Try all the outfits. Try the walk. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to have a practice session for the walk and all, but remember how you're going to present yourself. And like Zubeda mentioned, that's the very important part, smile. Because most of the time, I've been judge of many pageants, and I know this, that most of the time, I see a girl so beautiful, so nice jewelry's outfit, the walk is fine, but there's no smile. Yeah. You want to look presentable, right? right. That's, that's the main part of stage presence. So make sure you wear your best smile. Not too much, not too down, just the perfect <laughs> one. Okay. So the next part I want to talk about is the question and answer round. 
which everybody is so afraid about when it comes to that and i get so many questions about oh my god what i'm going to what am i going to do if i get uh, a diplomatic question how am i going to answer my only answer to those contestants is that just be honest this is not an iq test they are going to ask you about yourself about the pageant the current affairs that you already know don't be try to be politically correct and all just be honest and if you don't understand the question you can ask another time like hey i did not understand the question could you please repeat it it's okay to ask but don't answer anything that you didn't understand that would go wrong for you at that moment so everybody prepare for that or how is it going with everyone i'm going to ask ashita i think the key here is always to read as much as you can yeah and i've always yeah so i've always been a person who kind of like to feed my information and start early in the morning so it's not it's there is i do not have a like a set kind of pattern in in a way that what i'm going to read anything that nourishes my mind you know yeah. it could be maybe a that day it could be spiritual the other day it could be social the other way it could could be political so anything that just kind of nourishes my mind in any way i like to read and i feel like even the last time when i was in the pageant and when i was asked a question it wasn't something that i kind of learned by rote you know it's just yeah. it was so honest what i felt at that moment what my soul was trying to tell me that exactly. just came out through my mouth that exactly what it was and as you said be honest that exactly be honest yeah that exactly how i kind of felt about the question and my answer just came out straight from what exactly i was feeling at that moment so yes what was the question you might ask you yeah sure <laughs> we would love to hear that yeah sure the question was uh how why do you cons- uh, how i mean it's uh, how how can we consider you as you as the best among all i mean that's how the question is oh why do you deserve to win the title so that was actually the question that was my actually the next point to say that make sure you have your why yeah you have that answer you don't need to think of if somebody ask you right now why you are in this page and why do you want to win you should have it clear exactly so make sure you have that um yeah. the one more is the one more common is that why do you think you should win why everything leads to one type of answer but find yours right that would that would look honest and true and would stand out So okay let's start from Anamika. Do you have anything to say on this question and answer or anything? Mm, not at this moment. No. She Madhuri answer. I'm re- really help um, really lucky enough to have both of you and uh, pretty much you guys are really helpful <laughs> here. Thank you. Thank you. You and, you yeah. all are talented girls. You don't need any advice from me, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are already there. I can see that. Yes, congeniality. We need your <laughs> your smile, <laughs> that positive vibe from you. <laughs> That's why you yes. have the title, right? <laughs> That's the That's thing so that much. when you are in the pageant, yeah. Uh, always, you know, we think that competitor it's all fine, healthy competition. You want to stand up, you want to win. but try to be humble down to earth if anybody needs any help you know like with mascaras makeup go and help out you know this is your moment you want to enjoy with everyone you know you want to cheer for them doesn't matter who wins enjoy this journey of course you want to try to win but don't be like oh i didn't win i didn't win the crown i didn't win the crown somebody else. but that didn't stop me from growing right i'm still doing my stuff i'm still image consulting books author movies i went for new york fashion week i did for rohit verma uh, from that incident rohit verma show everybody has like so stressed out the way he is he need, he wants things particular and we had like okay are you guys ready we have to walk and i didn't have my makeup on wow <laughs> i was the last one i was so much of rush and he's a designer so that time i was thinking i'm i'm presenting his outfits i i should just go and walk and i was really nervous i didn't have my makeup like who cares i have my outfit i'm going to go and walk and i walked so there was this side we had to go walk and go from the other side so i walked and and, and from there he was like good i was so happy that i you know he's happy designer is happy that's what you want to do right yeah and then he called me on the stage and said out of my all the us tour you are the one who walked in sari the perfect way i was like i'm so happy i didn't have makeup on nothing i was 
for a few minutes I was nervous, but then I was thinking, like, I, you know what? I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna wait. Like everybody had their make. Yeah, you're just being I'm yourself. Just, that's what matters. Just, I'm just gonna go walk and come back. I'm I'm just gonna do what I'm supposed to do. So that's the thing. I'm gonna give it to you guys. Don't worry about small little thing on this. Nobody's gonna notice because judges are from their far. They're not gonna be here. Oh, you have eyelash on or no? No. <laughs> So don't be, you know, wasting the time and stress out and then you walk on stage, it will look on your face. So yeah. be confident, be yourself and just enjoy, you know. These are the memories you're going to make. Yes. You're going to meet so many other people. It's going to open new doors for you. That's for sure. Sorry. Okay, Sueda, do you have anything to say? Uh, Lena. About the questions? Yes. I Lena, I actually I want to show uh, like about your coming movies. So just give me one second. Oh wow, I'd sure. love to see it. Wow, awesome. <laughs> she she's the main lead role for this movie. Really? And What's the name of the movie? It's coming very soon in the theaters. Oh yes, I can't wait to it to be released. So oh wow. Lena, yes, I am. Possible. I am possible. Yes. Oh what, yes, I saw that. Yeah. Wow, I'm so looking forward wow. to it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Congratulations. Yeah, very nice. When is it to release, Lena? Yeah, uh, when is the soon? Let's see when we didn't we don't have the dates yet, but soon. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe in a month, very soon. Wow, so we are all coming for the launch party, right? I mean the release. Of course. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> you know, Lena, she's very intelligent. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you, Janak Coming from you means a lot. kind of, you know, I'm, I, I can't wait now. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you Janakji, remember you have you have some live videos of me crying. I'm like, stop, Janakji, don't make this live. We had fun. I mean, whenever Janakji is on the set, it's always fun. No, even jo jo mara Rohit Verma ka show hua tha Boston mein. Jo Lena ki jo walk thi, usne Rohit Verma ne six hundred fifty dollar ki jo saree thi, isko gift ki. Like he, he was so sweet. Wow, lucky you. you. <laughs> Amazing. Kuch to commendable kiya hoga fir. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Nothing. I just walked in the start. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> he actually, Rohit, Rohit is a very good choreographer. Yes. Oh, yes. that's amazing. And the kind of impression that I'm getting, as you're saying, is a perfectionist. Or yes, if you're very say, particular about the walk. Exactly. That means you, you know, you, you did something really amazing. That's why you just, <laughs> he had no option, option but to give you such beautiful gift. Oh, yeah, he's very nice. I know. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, you can continue. Okay. Do you guys have any other question that you want to hear from that? How you're going to be doing this? Any confusion about anything? We are just here to chit chat. So don't be shy or anything. Mm -hmm. Just you can ask any question. No, we are very comfortable with you. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> that's really nice. Really, yeah, really good. Yeah, <laughs> this experience has been very, very pleasant. So lighthearted. I'm very Thank happy you. right now. <laughs> And you won't believe me now. Like I mean, I've kind of it's been like one of those. I, I had not been getting the opportunity to get into the live uh, this live shows, but I have been watching the recordings and all the mentors starting from Suganda and all the mentors that I had been looking at and the kind of inspiration and the stories they had been telling about, you know, their experiences. That's so uplifting. Yes. And every time I hear something new, even from you, I'm hearing something different, completely new. It's not that I've heard it already. or heard it from Suganda or somewhere yes. else. It's totally new for me. And that's what makes it so interesting and so enlightening, you know, people with diff different experiences and then you kind of sharing your experience and that just align and that that's when the magic happens, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> this is you want to do, take uh, advice from yeah. each episode. Everybody would have something to tell yeah. you and you might, Zubeda might be getting something else for herself. You might be getting something else for yourself. So it's, it depends what you guys are, but whatever it is, you, you, it will be helpful for you in the pageant yeah. at the end. 
and i love the background as well because you have kind of you know have such different background you know model you have you have done t- uh, you movies and and now i can see you are also an image consultant i mean there are so many forms within you <laughs> image consulting it was my yeah. passion um i used to do uh, with family and friends only if anybody is going out they was like oh you have a good sense of clothing and all so would you mind helping and oh. i used to do that a lot and then i started with corporate also that you know i started with students in india when i actually trained them for professional life after the graduation how to do that mm-hmm. and when anybody gets a job and i get a call it gives me immense pride that hey it, it worked out you know i'm happy for them you're like one of those angels for them you know kind of <laughs> you know they try because that's what people are they coming they already know what to do but the way the you know yeah. corporate competition how they that's have to stand true. out what are the you know other questions so right. that's for students and i do it for i mean with jana can rush me it's been more than i guess 2 years been working with them and i'm guiding them in um uh, guiding the contestant in uh, image consulting for pageants wow so yeah i love my job i love what i do oh i can sense it <laughs> <laughs> i can see it on your face that's amazing <laughs> and you love to talk to people like that you know who are actually authentic not just yeah, yeah that's beautiful yeah. thank you thank you i get to meet you all pretty faces talented <laughs> oh my god so much of talent <laughs> the only advice for you guys is just just be yourself enjoy don't worry i mean i i i had one contestant ask me this question that i'm so afraid to look into judges eyes I'm like don't yeah. look at their eyes just look at their forehead or <laughs> find the blind spot I I do that like see that's the thing if you are afraid of crowd you need to find that blind spot when you're walking on stage look find for me if I'm here this is the audience on that side there's one blind spot one in the middle one in there and just scan the judges yeah you're not scared anymore so find something that will work for you you know like I, I really me right now you're confident when you're there on the stage that one minute you'll be nervous like everybody's eyes on you like okay what like everybody's looking at you it's human nature you know when everybody is a uh, new you get nervous so you have to find something to keep you calm yes and be I, confident i i what i the trick that i did i looked at the most smiling face the person who was smiling the most at me <laughs> that works right <laughs> really? yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that works. It's that's just gives you validation okay you're doing something right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anything else ladies? So what did you do after the pageant Lena? I mean is there anything that kind of to support your crown or I mean other the the title that you got or anything that <clears throat> Well, I was always I've always seen myself doing something I'm I'm into mm-hmm. like right after the pageant we had this movie shooting going on I remember last year at this time uh we were a uh, shooting outside in snow mm-hmm. all day it was like minus 5 centigrade and we were actually shooting in the snow all day I remember I uh, then we went to I mean I I've, I've always been busy though my image consulting was going on side by side like few months back i decided to write a book about it mm-hmm. i didn't I, i didn't know that it was going to go to best seller at all i just i just want to do i'm like is this, this is the book that you just showed yeah this is the oh, fantastic the best find the best in you beautiful so i didn't think of i'm like i'm just you know reaching out to only few what if i want to reach out to more and that's when i decided to write it i did everything i did in writing from scratch and released on amazon worldwide and within few days it became best seller and i was so happy that not that because it was best seller the thing that i was happy was because it's reaching out to so many people like right. somebody is in mexico reading my book and leaving a comment somebody is in australia wow. you know reading my living i liked it i like the way you combine the personal style right. the outer outer appearance and the inner strength right if you're only dressed nice and you are not confident from here right it it's not going to come out okay. so yeah That's and true. if you're only intelligent and and you think i don't think dressing right it's going to affect me but you know what everybody is judging you on your outer appearance right we are not saying that you step out 
to your house um, out of the house with the being a model or what no just be nice look at what you're wearing you know every time if you're wearing a wristwatch with a just exercise yourself like something nice that you will feel confident mm. so that's all the chapters that I just that's beautiful. <laughs> you need about. a lot of downtime. It's because I know, I mean, when you kind of set out to write, it's it's just you and you have to kind of just focus on yourself. And with the pageants and this industry that we are in, it's all about, you know, going out. How how did you manage all that, balance all that? Because it's it's more like in it's you have to kind of do so much of self-reflection when you are writing a book. I work full time in pharma, so hardly I get time Monday to Friday is my job. Right. I work as a QA manager. So all day is like meetings and this and then audit. So I don't get time to do what I love to do. Right. So then when I come home, I have a six year old son oh, who so keeps sweet. me busy all the time. So I have I have I also have five and a half <laughs> daughter. So um, you know what we go to, that, right? Totally. Yes. Totally. So what, whatever time I get is um, between weekends and right. I find time. Exactly. So you have to prioritize. Like for you, you girls, like you, when you decided to participate in the pageant, you had something okay. like, okay, I'm gonna work on my talent route. I'm gonna work on my. So it's already there because you wanna do it, right? Exactly. One by one. Oh, yeah. I mean, initially, if you asked me this question, I wasn't ready at all, <laughs> to be very honest, because just the fact that you have your, your business and then you have family to. So I was into two minds. But Rashmi G, I I mean, she has such a great persuasion skills, I must say. I mean, she, she made is like, actually funny. inspiration exactly. for all. She Every time I, they're resume. always coming up with nice I something know. good about the community for exactly. the girls for women empowerment I there's know. something going on whenever i see rashmi in, on facebook i'm like wow there's something else going on <laughs> there's this yeah. pageant exactly. it's so good that they they come up with such nice ideas and especially for women empowerment yeah i mean it, that's exactly that gets to you i mean if you're, you because most of the time we'll keep up passions and interests and skills that's so like you know make it keep it dormant and it's, we need somebody or something that would awaken us to our true potential. And that's exactly what Rashmi Ji and Janaki had done for us. Yes. I think we just triggered us or pushed us awake, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I, would, I think I would suggest Janak Ji to just keep uh, awakening to your true potential. <laughs> my dream, yes. my dream entertainment. Exactly something like that. <laughs> that would there'll be, be. There'll be his uh, next movie, Awakening. It, there you go, Anamika. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is so, so nice. Yeah. Zubeda, idea mila se kitna hai Actually, Zubeda, she is very good singer. Zubeda, really? Oh wow! Wow! We would love to hear from you one single line or anything. We are all ears. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna have good night's sleep. Please do. Yes. <laughs> Who's singing? You. Zubeda, that's right. Uh, yes. Of course, I have a good voice. So, for you, special joy, na, demand aayi hai. Ha. What should I sing? Anything you like. Few lines. Any few lines. Okay. I'll sing something in Bangla. Oh, sure. Two lines. Okay. Sure. Two lines, not words. Okay. <laughs> so it's funny. I was, I, I never really sing this song. I was just singing it on my way home. I was trying it. I'm practicing. I'm not really that good, but I will try. Okay, ready? <clears throat> oh my god, I might just embarrass myself. Well, let's find out. <laughs> <clears throat> You'll be fine. <laughs> yes. Ami J Tomar. Tujhe tumar, aami je tumar. Beautiful. Wow. Yes. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Beautiful, Jibeda. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, for bringing it up. Otherwise, I don't even know how anybody knows. I, I, <laughs> Achha, Lina, this is Janak Ji has his, his connection, you know, the Kufiya uh -huh. thing, the he will find out, right, exactly. Janak Ji? That's hidden talent. <laughs> Everybody's hidden <laughs> talent, yes. Uh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. Thank I you. I love to sing too. I, I really love to yeah. sing. 
you um, look nice, nice. Awesome. But not uh, good. Uh, not too you good. You can do it too. I, I guess I love singing. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Sing, sing few lines. You too. Okay. Come on. Any song you like. Any song. Okay. Any song. We try. <laughs> I try to record, I, I'll try to record my own video, but I have to be doing the practice little, like two, three times more. Okay. Beautiful. Yay! Very nice. All-time favorite. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, romantic song. My grandmother used to sing, uh, and my mom used to sing. My mom still wow. sings. So mm -hmm. I, I never knew that I can sing. But after 40 years old, I'm 42 right now. But after four, I turned 40, I realized that I can sing too. So I had to put it in a serious accent, I guess. That's and beautiful. Better yeah, lads than ever. Yeah, yeah. better than ever. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so you can be <laughs> <laughs> See, they, Janak ji always coming up with something or the other great things. <laughs> I know. Very we already launched online jo hai. So this online talent show hai. Wo same aise hi rahega. Is pe judges bhi online hai, station bhi online, contestant bhi. Oh, wow. Online. That is really great. That's, that's awesome. This is something new I'm hearing Janak ji. Ye mujhe nahi pata tha. Yeah, so talent show jo hai wo aa raha hai. So uh -huh. ऐसे सेम ऐसे ही चलेगा तो आप okay. अपने घर से आप अपना टैलेंट दिखा सकते हैं I mean we can also dance or we just just singing dance acting कुछ कुछ भी oh nice that's awesome we have we have uh, four four participants here already I can see that including you including you acting you're pro in that <laughs> so looks like we'll be all joining online for the talent yeah. round Janak ji I would love to see you girls there on first. Like Thank you. I didn't see it. You have to give an interview, you have to go to the studio, you have to get an appointment, you have to get time. Now what is it? You have to eat dinner, let's interview. Yeah. That's it. You are right. Dekho, just, just, did you notice this is exactly what Rashmi ji also says? Ashita, I don't know, it's just a party, you know, feel like going on the stage and walk you walk and, you know, have fun, dance. That's how exactly it is. You just make it sound so easy. That's exactly how yeah. it is right now. You know, just aise hi khane peene ke baad interview de diya, you know. You <laughs> <laughs> make it sound easy, right? No, I know. I found her so easy. Yeah, I feel so comfortable with her. I, I know. know. I'm amazing. speechless. Yeah, she's one of that woman that I just love to see yeah. her, love to hear her all the time. <laughs> I know. She's Both good. of you. She is actually inspiration for all of Big us. Big time. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> I mean, she's chirpy all the time. Whenever you talk to her, you would never find her in stress. Um, you yeah. always find her. Never in seen her down. Always smiling. Yes. Always yeah. smiling. Yeah. And she always be there when we have any question. Yes, exactly. Always like, accessible. Very yeah. few people do that. You know, they are kind of accessible, approachable. You know, many times because that's a vibe I got instantly. I remember that this is the, she's the first person I talked to. I wasn't in two minds, but again, one of my angel friends, she kind of suggested me to go for this pageant. And uh, again, I was in two minds. I didn't understand whether I should go for it or not. But I called up Rashmi, Rashmi ji and she's, she again, as I said, she made it sound like a party. She said, no, this is all going to be very easy. And I had probably just less than a week to prepare. I said, how I'm going to dance? How I'm going to put up my steps? It's going to be so, oh, whatever, you're a dancer. You can do anything. Come on, just be on stage and do it. Whatever you want to do, just grab the moment. I said, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. the thing, that's the way they make feel each and every contestant feel home, you know. They don't feel like they're going somewhere else, or sick, something so stressful. No, it's not. Yeah, it's almost feel like you're talking to one of the family members. Yeah, yeah. so that's beautiful. And she is very sweet, very yeah. sweet. The way she talks, the way she solves the problems. 
Yes, that's really sweet. Oh, any other questions? Yes, nope. any other questions? Anything? You still have stuck in mind? I'm really looking forward to meeting you, Lena, and all of you. Oh, I can't wait Thank to see you, you guys. Yeah, yes. I'm so live again. Give your best. Be cheerful. Thank enjoy. You, you know, don't Lina. stress Thank out. You. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much for your time. Thank you for your time, both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, lady. Love you both. Thank, Thank you very much. Nice to meet everyone. Bye. 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 Bye